So welcome to this session on UG and PG degree programs and also from School of Humanities. This program is from Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Center, Kochi. We set our acknowledgement and special thanks to Dr. B. Uh, Sukumar, Regional Director, IGNU Regional Center, Trivandrum, for sharing the facility of this uh, IGNU Regional Center, Trivandrum, for the live relay of the promotional meeting of IGNU Regional Center, Kochi. Indira Gandhi National Open University uh, it was established in the year 1985 by the Act of Parliament to achieve the following objectives to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learner, providing access to high quality education to those who seek it irrespective of age, region, religion and gender, offering need-based academic programs by giving professional and vocational orientation to the courses, promoting and uh, uh, developing distance education in <coughs> India. And because it was established by the Act of Parliament, uh, the degree diploma certificate issued by IGNU or recognized by all the member of uh, institutions of the Association of Indian Universities and are at par with the corresponding degree diploma certificates issued by all Indian universities, deemed universities and institutions. IGNU is the first open university in the country to have been accredited with the highest A++ grade by NAC. What to study with IGNU? We have an array of programs to, to suit each one's need and uh, they can be classified under undergraduate program, postgraduate program, diploma program. PG Diploma Program, PG Certificate Program, Certificate Program, and Appreciation Program. The duration of undergraduate degree program of IGNU is minimum is three years and maximum is six years. You may ask what is this minimum duration? Minimum duration means first year, second year, and third year. There is no provision to do all the three years together. So after one year, uh, we need to do the second and the third year. Uh, and uh, there can be a gap in between due to your family, your social or your uh, career uh, growth or uh, uh, which may seem to be a hurdle for your education. So you can stretch the minimum period of study of three years up to six years. And the session is uh, on both the July and the January session. And currently, the admission is going on for the July cycle of admission. The School of Humanities is one of the 21 School of Studies at Indira Gandhi National Open University and it offers the Bachelor of Arts Honours degree in the four disciplines English, Hindi, Sanskrit and Urdu. The Bachelor of Arts on Honours in English is in medium of instruction is in English and of the Bachelor of Arts in Hindi, it is the medium of instruction is in Hindi. The Bachelor of Arts in Sanskrit, the medium of instruction is in Sanskrit. The Bachelor of Arts in Urdu, the medium of instruction is in Urdu. So of the 12 pro bachelor's degree program, four out, uh, bachelor's degree program are from the School of Humanities. The eligibility criteria for the uh, bachelor's degree program is 10 plus 2. And the duration of master's degree program of IGNU, the minimum is 2 years and the maximum is 4 years. So the first and the second year of the master's degree program, suppose you are unable to complete it within this specified 2 year duration, you can stretch it up to a maximum of 4 years. And again, the master's degree program is offered both in the January and July cycle of admissions. The uh, School of Humanities offer the following master of degree programs. The master of arts in English, the medium of instruction is in English. The master of arts in Hindi, 
the medium of instruction is in Hindi. The Master of Arts in Sanskrit, the medium of instruction is Sanskrit. The Master of Arts in Jyotish, the medium of instruction is in Hindi and Sanskrit. And the, media, uh, the Master of Arts in Hindi Professional Writing, the medium of instruction is in Hindi. The Master of Arts in Urdu, the medium of instruction is in Urdu. The eligibility criteria for master's degree program admission is bachelor's degree or a higher degree from a recognized university. So what one should do you know before joining a program of study, we just want to highlight it so that it will be useful for you when you have to choose a program of study. The program details you need to know whether it is a master's, a undergraduate program or a diploma or a certificate or it's an awareness program. How it is referred to, that is the title of the course should be known and what are the different subjects are indicated by the course in each of the program. The credit value of each of the course on the total va credit value of the program to be enrolled is also need to be known to you. The course code or the abbreviation of which a title of the course that is the subject is referred in a program should also be known to you. The eligibility criteria to enroll into the program of study of your choice should be known and you also should check whether you fulfill the eligibility criteria and the duration of the program should also be known to you. So these are the things you should know that is the program details, the title of the course, the credit, course code, the eligibility conditions or the eligibility criteria and the duration should be known to you for a program of your choice before enrolling into the, that program for study. And you may wonder why this promotional meeting. We all agree that life is a, 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 a continuous uh, a need for education is felt in each one's life, whether it is personal life or social life or career life. Because in each sphere, we don't get stagnant when it comes to education. And continuing education is one of the important aspects for us to move in your career ladder and also to jump from one job to the other. And also, besides being sustained in the job while keeping on uh, par with your subordinates and your seniors in terms of the knowledge relate, related to the same sphere of work in different cadres and so the importance of lifelong learning also comes into this uh, fold and so uh, education is important or acquiring an education qualification is one of the uh, means to sustain lifelong learning and anywhere anytime education is also possible through the distance learning system and even as a distance education provider with its flexible features of IGNU seems to be the ideal situation for any you know, aspirant of education to pursue the education amidst their family, social and, and the career uh, commitments. And what to study at IGNU? Once again, we want to highlight we have an array of program to suit each one's need. So that we have the undergraduate program, the postgraduate program, the diploma, PG diploma, PG certificates, certificate and when to apply is whether you want to get admitted into the January session or the July session and how to apply is always through the online in the IGNU website www.ignu.ac.in and we also take this opportunity to share certain life skill needed for education. Be honest when you enroll for the program. Know what is the time you can spare in relation to the program you want to select depending upon the duration of the program. So suppose you have only very few hours which you can spend on education, take a certificate program and, uh, and take one day at a time, meaning do something related to the education which you have enrolled in a day. Uh, foregoing certain leisure time activities or hobbies also and do not worry about tomorrow many times when while fulfilling the deadline of uh, sitting in today tomorrow seems to be a far reality 
So uh, when you are fulfilling your deadlines, especially related to submission of assignment, submission of exam form, do not worry about tomorrow. And think of the spin-off benefits which will be earned by acquiring this education qualification when it comes to the economic activity or, you know, or through a career ladder climb also. So uh, when you think of the spin-off benefits, definitely you don't mind foregoing the leisure time activity of today. And uh, we have our website, ignu.ac.in. And you can access to the link of uh, online admission by going to the link ignoadmission.summer.edu.in. And the, if you have any queries, we are welcome to send a mail to rccoaching at ignu.ac.in. And related to these various programs on offer, we have a uh, playlist in our YouTube channel of IGNU Regional Center Coaching. Uh, under promotional uh, meetings and you can be benefited if you visit it and before we end we just uh, thank you for being with us and listening to the uh, undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs on offer by school of humanities we want to leave a small thought with you many a times the hurdles which we cross are considered as a stepping stone only in later in life. So whenever you come across an hurdle, remember that it is going to lead to a stepping stone to a, a height which you cannot reach. And also remember the um, the stepping stones are, cannot be climbed without the help of other human beings. Sometimes it can be your family members or sometimes even your strangers who come into your life and when you reach the higher cadre in, in your life in, in mainly manifested by uh, so many benefits related to that the placement never forget the people who help you so, and never forget to help somebody when you have reached a sphere of helping others and to meet the right person while facing a hurdle you need to have spiritual quotient, a uh, high spiritual quotient, I should say. You have to depend on God. Because only God can turn out all the uh, hurdles which you acro come across for and uh, to be a good uh, stepping stone for you to climb. Plus, only God can bring the right people to help you to cross the hurdle. With this small thought of having a good spiritual intelligence when you come across a hurdle uh, to depend on God for you to uh, get benefited by your uh, helping hand of many human beings and also to turn around the situation for your good. We leave this message and uh, we look forward for meeting you with another pro promotional meeting uh, video on another topic on another program. Till then, Thank you for watching.